it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace, where I make beautiful things for life sewn in sunshine and grown in grace. Today we're making a bunch of different flowers, beginning with these pretty blobby flowers and then moving into a few other varieties. And they are just pretty. Um, these are done in pastels because that was just kind of the mood I was in this morning, but you can see they're just simple little flowers shaped like blobs and layered one on top of the other. And we're gonna glue some dots in the center of these. I haven't done that yet because I was wanting to get them all glued. What I did was I cut the shapes out on the Cricut using a file I designed. And I cut five of each side, er, five sizes of each shape. There's actually three shapes. And then you just kind of layer them one on top of the other and glue them down. And it makes a very simple, easy, but pretty flower. So we're gonna quickly glue this last one together. I did ink the edges, giving them a little bit of pop and definition. That is basically all I've done is cut them out and you could tear blobs too. I have done it with torn blobs. I just, for the, I like the, the, you know, the kind of symmetry of having the exact same shape over and over. But torn blobs are beautiful too. And you just turn the shapes so that they're not lined up exact. And that gives some interest to it. And you just glue the layers together. Seriously, you guys, it's so easy and fun. I'm not kidding. I love these things. I don't actually like using the Cricut that much to cut them out because sometimes it can be persnickety. But when it works, it works and I love it, y'all. Okay, last one on. There we go. Oh, my land's absolutely adorable. Now let's get some colored pearl thingies out here and get our gribber. And let's put dots in the centers. I want smallish dots. I think I'm just going to use white. And probably use those they're not very big I didn't pick any of the colored ones out so what you would do is you would just take it in your smallest one put a tiny dot of glue and then grab you got a grab or it helps if you ain't got a grab or good luck because I can't pick these little jokers up by hand and then just plop your dot in the center and there you have it we're making these little spiny flowers and these are cut with the Cricut. I apologize for the fact that they are not all entirely well cut. My Cricut has a mind all of its own and does not always play nice with me. So with the pattern I'm using. So there's five, one, two, three. Yeah, there's five sizes of layers. And we're just going to lay out the biggest, the large ones. Here's the next layer. I think I got these all sorted properly. What you're going to want to do is you're going to look at your bottom layer and you want to make sure that your next layer coordinates but doesn't, you know, like contrasts so that they're not identical. And you're going to lay it down on top of that. This just creates some interest. It does not matter if each layer is perfect. Then pick the next one, which is this one and layer it on somehow. This is why it doesn't matter if some of them are a little janky and like didn't tear cut correctly. Cause yeah, that totally happens with my Cricut. Then you're gonna take your next layer. If you guys hear a weird noise, it's my stomach because I am getting hungry. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near dinner time. We'll put them on so that they are not the same pattern. Damn it. Mm. So we'll leave that one there. Put that one there. I think I'm going to use that one there. I am messing those up. We'll fix them when we glue them together. Okay, now do your last one, your little one. And again, making sure that you're not putting the same pattern on top of each other. 
I like that one right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one stack and we're going to flip it upside down. It's just easier to glue them to pick them up and do it this way. Put a dot in the center, then pick up your next layer. And I'm going to try to pull that off of there without tearing it up. Line it up so that the petals kind of don't overlap each other, but kind of go in the center like that. And it takes a second to figure that out. You have to kind of play with it. Now you want to put these, the next layer, in the center of that. Then you want to do the next layer in the center of that. And we could stop right there. But we're not, uh, we might actually, no, that one's okay. And then you're going to take the last layer put it in the center and it kind of hides all the imperfect the way you have all the layers you can't see where these like if they don't cut perfect it's okay that's what I'm trying to say and you're going to take and ink it you want to do it after you put it together and you'll see why because it's going to make these um layers pop a little bit and you want to be gentle and it's harder to do when it's not all glued together already Okay, then you're going to flip it upside down. You're going to take each layer and just curl the pieces up like this. Again, this is where if it's curled, if it's glued together, it's easier to do. I mean, I guess you could take and just roll them on something, but come on, this is faster. You just work your way down the, the layers. So that it curls up a little bit. You don't want it to be like super curled. You just want like a little curl. And if you can use thicker paper for this to make the flower with to start with, like when you cut it out, you will get um, a little bit more of a definition to it. But really, I just use whatever's available. Whatever I have laying around. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take and do the last step, which is put something in the centerpiece. Because y'all know me, and I got to decorate those centers. So we're going to use something out of here. Maybe white instead. Ooh, I know. Instead of that cream, this beige color would look good. On this, you're going to want to use a somewhat larger pearl, flat back pearl, but flip over, flip over. Come on, stop being persnickety. There we go. All right, there we go. Because I had to make a lot of flowers, you guys, I'm out of all of my flowers. <laughs> and so I decided to bring you guys along with me while we make some fun flowers. These are just little four petal flowers and I have already laid out the two base layers, the largest in the middle, and now I'm laying out the third layer on top of that. There are three layers. These are made from Cricut fun. And I am just making sure that the, whatever the top layer is, it is not necessarily coordinating with the bottom layer below it. So, you know, like the one directly beneath it. So I'm kind of playing with which ones go where. Put that one there. Put that one there. I think that looks better. Then we'll do that one there. And this one here. Okay. Those all look pretty good. Now, the way you're going to put this together is you're going to take your flowers. Move most of the stacks to the side so they're not in your way and grab a set we're going to do this one because it pops really well and we're going to take and we're going to ink them first just a little bit on the edges that'll give some definition and pop to them to the different layers so you do this this does not take forever you just hit them really quickly while you're doing that make sure you press them against your finger 
this will start to give them some definition and shape. And yes, you can be rough on them and do that. Then do the next layer. Again, this just sort of gives them some definition and shape and helps them pop when you lay, lay them all together. But we're going to do something else to make them have shape too. And all this is just using our hands. We don't need any special tools. I do have flower shaping tools. But for these, I usually do not use them because my hand works just as well. Maybe even better. You can see I've been at this for a while now. <laughs> like all day today making flowers. I'm going to have to stop here soon and fix dinner. But okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the flower, flip it upside down in our hand, just like this. And take your finger, make a knuckle like that, and just press it in there. That's really all you need to shape a flower, you guys. Then you flip it the other way and just press your knuckle in the other way. There you go. Now on the smaller one, because obviously it's smaller, you don't want to use a knuckle. You can just use your finger, your index finger, to poke it. Might have to move it around a little bit to get it poked. And then poke it down in the center and put it to the side. Now, this baby one, it's a little more difficult because it is small. So just take, I actually, usually if I have much of a fingernail, I will use my fingernail on my pinky finger because it's small and poke it. And then just poke it down in the center. There you go. Okay. Now, take and use your bottom one, put a dot of glue in it. Now put your next layer on top and make sure that where, instead of lining the flowers up like that, twist it to the side a little bit so that they um, don't exactly, they go over the corners. It takes a second to get that to grab sometimes because it's dented. And then you're going to do the same thing with the next layer. Put it off center. Not off center, but off, off center of the layer before it, below it. There you go. That's it. Now. We're going to put a drop of glue in the center, and we are going to find a flat back pearl. I am loving the pink, so I'm going to use the pink flat back pearl right there, and we're going to pop that down in the center. Come on. And that's all there is to it. You guys, I'm not kidding. Cutting them out takes way longer than actually making the flowers does. And is that not pretty? Look at that. Those are beautiful. They have a little bit of definition, but not too much definition. Just enough to be pretty. All right. Y'all, what do you think? Are they pretty? You gonna make some? If you do, and you put them on social media, tag me. It's Miranda McCulley on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So tag me. I want to see your ranks. I want to see how you do them. I want to give you some love on them. Um, be sure to uh, check out the links below to find links to a Cricut machine and to the Art Glitter Glue. And like I said, comment below and I'll send you the file that I used to cut these out. Um, if you do purchase something through those links, they are affiliate links. I do make a small commission, but I have already done the legwork to find you the best price and deal on the Cricut and the glue and anything else that is down there. So that you don't have to and it doesn't cost you anything extra. But it does help support my channel and helps me bring you more great videos like this. So you guys have an awesome day and we will chat soon. All right, grace and peace. Bye -bye. Oh, remember Jesus loves you so much he died for you. And if you do not know that, I would love, love, love to tell you about my precious Savior and tell you the greatest love story ever. So you can also drop that in the comments below or over on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. You can private message me. Just... Talk to me, peeps, and I'll get you settled, all right? Y'all have a great day, and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.